engineering is just figuring out an idea that you come up with your head and turn it into real life. Even from earlier days, physics and maths, they were a staple. I really enjoyed doing those. On the other side as well, I've enjoyed the creative aspect of things. I think I've just been trying to figure out ways to combine those things. So my, my sister actually came to university here. So I came and visited her, just kind of fell in love with it. It just always kind of felt like home to me. Coming into engineering, I have to be honest, it was a bit overwhelming. What makes the university so great is the people, the staff and the students. They really work to sort of foster a really collaborative and supportive environment. I'd always been interested in kind of technical things and aircraft in general, so I saw aerospace engineering in a careers guidance catalogue thing. thought, oh, that sounds fun. I could maybe call myself a rocket scientist. One of the things that we do at the University of Liverpool is these things called capstone projects. We might be working with hospitals, charities, you might be collaborating with other companies as well. But ultimately they try to make sure that they benefit the wider society. Probably my earliest memories of aviation type things is flying like rubber band aeroplanes down the road with my dad outside my house. Always from a fairly small age, I liked planes. The interesting thing about the aerospace industry is there's so many different uh, subsections of that and so many different bits of it to kind of explore and innovative. So I think the most interesting project I've worked on is the one that I'm doing now which is circular economy. We work with a lot of plastic waste and we collect that and we turn it into these new products that we can sell back to students on campus. You combine the logical mathematical side of things with creative to come up with a final product. The project that I was working on was around creating standards for how we do flight simulation to be able to certify aircraft. We engaged with an international rotorcraft uh, manufacturer. They gave us some of their simulation models that they'd developed, and then we compared it against what they'd actually done in reality. And we got exactly the same results, effectively, in the sim that they got in their real aircraft. Um, so that, that was our kind of eureka moment. We have two full motion flight simulators, brand new virtual reality platform, and there's not really any other universities in the UK that have that capability. They're not built to replicate a particular aircraft. They're very flexible, so we can uh, simulate a variety of aircraft. We've even done spacecraft. So that kind of flexibility is quite unique. We have this concept of the Liverpool engineer. So we're trying to present students with problems that they would face in the real world and allow them to learn through examining those problems. Wherever possible, we try to keep them out of a lecture theatre and actually get them to work on problems that they would encounter in engineering jobs uh, and learn through doing those. Within the Russell Group, within the University of the UK in general, we have one of the highest graduate employment rates for engineering because employers tell us that our graduates come out into the workplace ready to work, ready to solve problems because that's how they've learned. I've managed to sort out a summer placement through the support of academic staff and you can really see the similarities and the parallels between the projects that we do here at university and my time working at an actual company. I like that it's a very small city, everything's very compact. You can do anything that you want in kind of a two mile radius is my favourite thing about it. Uh, and the people are great as well, obviously they're very friendly and cool. Just the place that we're in, come through that archway into the quad and that quad is, is really beautiful, especially in the summer. You've got spectacular cathedrals in, in one direction, you've got the kind of fairly modern architecture of the department with the big glass cube and stuff, and then the Victoria building in the other direction. And yeah, you're right, right in the middle of the city. Uh, can be anywhere in, in 10 minutes. We're really collaborative in nature here at Liverpool, so you're not just working with mechanical engineers, you're working with sociologists, medics, industrial designers, so you're just better equipped when you go to these placements for the real world of work.